Hello, monsters. I call you that because that's what we all are. We're glorious monsters shambling through the swamps of unreason. That is one of my favorite quotes from a story written by the author Neil Gaiman in his book, The Monarch of the Glen. Actually, it was a story from a book, but it was called The Monarch of the Glen. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about myself. Hopefully, this will be the only time I'll need to do that because it's pretty boring. As you might be able to tell, I really don't know what the hell I'm doing. But I've been interested in YouTube for a long time. I spent a lot of time thinking about creating a channel. And I'm just now getting around to it. One reason it took me so long to do it is because I couldn't really decide what I wanted to do. Most people tend to specialize. My interests are very broad. My experience is very broad. And because of that... I just realized one day that I can pretty much do whatever I want to do because it's my YouTube channel and hey if you're here and you're watching it's because you want to be here but nobody has to come and that's one of the interesting things about YouTube is that you can create yourself on your own channel and I'm really glad to be here. YouTube's an amazing thing. It's one of the wonders of our modern age. It was created by three guys uh, around 10 years ago, and they didn't really create anything new. They didn't create videos. They didn't create servers. They didn't create streaming. But they put it all together, and they did create something that has become one of the most useful tools that humanity has ever produced, in my opinion. I do a lot of things in my life. I'm flipping a house. I work on cars. That forces me to work on a lot of different things, like heating and air conditioning and electrical, and you name it, I've got to work on it. And if it wasn't for YouTube, I don't think I would be able to do half the things that I've done. Hey Pete, after I realized that I had the capability to do whatever I wanted to do, it became pretty simple after that. He's growling at me. He wants attention, he just doesn't want attention. After I realized that I could do whatever I wanted to do, things became pretty simple because that creates kind of this wide open spectrum of where's your head at? Where's your heart at? Uh, what, what do you want to accomplish? What do you think is interesting? Do I blow up things? Do I you know, take videos of my cat. Should I build a car? Should I show you how to use a camera? I mean, there's a bunch of things and it really kind of unleashed in me this feeling of creativity that I hadn't felt in quite a while. All of the things I just mentioned, I'm probably going to do a little bit of all of that at some point because I plan on doing this for the rest of my life. Very interested in it. I'm very glad to be here. I'm very glad that you're here. I want to create content that amuses, that amazes, and that makes you laugh. And if I can pull that off, then I'll feel like I've accomplished my goal. A little bit about myself. I've worked as a lot of different things, but for most of my adult life, I've worked in networking, that is computer networking and desktop support. And I spent a number of years working as a web designer. And I still do all of those things to make money. That's how I pay the rent. In my early life, I worked as an auto mechanic. I started when I was in my early teens. And I kept at that for about six or seven years. And I learned a lot. And cars are my big passion. One thing I'm going to do on this channel, and that's going to be coming up soon, is I'm going to do a Copart build. I'm going to do a, a car build with an auction car that I purchased from Copart. Copart is an amazing company. And I love thinking about being able to have something really nice and not have to pay an arm and a leg for it. And that's a big part of what motivates me. I'm the type of person who hates to see anything thrown away. If it's got value, if it's got use, if it has some worth to someone and it gets thrown in a landfill, then to me that is kind of a sin because it took oil and gas and human effort to produce it. And if someone can use it, then it should be used. So if I'm driving and I see something sticking out of a dumpster or in a ditch, I'm going to stop and pick it up and I'm going to try to turn it into a piece of art because to me, all creation is art. Anything that I do, whether it's building, whether it's a car, whether it's photography or you know, writing is, is all art. Even vacuuming the carpet can be art if you let it be. And that's kind of like what I try to do with my life. But worked as an auto mechanic, been working in the computer industry for a number of years. I also had a side gig working as a photojournalist and a writer for a guitar magazine and, uh, and a regional magazine here. I covered festivals all over the country, uh, taking pictures of big bands like Radiohead and Tom Petty, writing articles. And I really loved doing that. I've shot hundreds of shows. But after a while, I realized that I wanted to do something a little bit more with my life but I still have that background and, and, and that experience in the music industry and I'm also a musician I play guitar and I write and I sing and I love doing all that stuff so all that's going to kind of be part of the channel also this house that I'm living in is it's a flip house I bought it on an auction website called hubzoo.com the day that I bought it I doubled my money and actually it wasn't my money it was my my partner and friend's money but we bought this house for half what it was worth the retail value so the day we bought it we made a profit and 
and I'm living in the house and I'm working on it and try and we're going to flip it. Right now I have about 1500 hours in the house and I've got maybe another 1500 to go before we're finished. So I've already done a lot of work on the house and there's a lot more to go. So one thing I'm going to be documenting on Glorious Monsters is some of the things that I'm going to do to the house that are kind of cool and a little bit different. It's not going to be your straight up, you know, how to construction videos, how to how to frame a door, how to put in a window. For instance, I have a garage downstairs, a single car garage, and I wanted to put barn doors in it because barn doors are cool, the kind that open like this, but if you go to buy barn doors on Amazon, they cost like $2,700. I know that I could build a set of barn doors and that's something I'm doing right now and so that's one of the videos that I'm going to do. And there are a thousand things that have crossed my mind about what I want to do, but they mainly revolve around doing the car build. That's something that's really near and dear to me, but also all of the cool things that I do in flipping this house because I try to think outside of the box. I'm going to show you some of those things in a later video. I'll show you some of my past projects and hopefully you'll like them and maybe I can get some feedback on them. Other things that I'm interested in is I'm going to do how-to videos and some, some short tutorial videos on software like Premiere Pro and Adobe Photoshop and maybe some short how-to videos and instructional videos on how to use camera like you know different things about photography and pretty much whatever else I can think of. But for now I just have a bunch of unformed ideas that are just now coming together and this is my way of just introducing myself and trying to show you a little bit of what's to come. Another subject I'm really interested in is scuba diving. I've been I've been a certified diver since I was very young. I worked for a dive shop in Hawaii on the Big Island for a while and I really loved it and I had a great time. And where I live now, I was a public service diver for eight years working for the county. I did a lot of evidence recovery, a lot of working with the police and the fire departments uh, when people got in bad spots. And that was something that was really enlightening and really interesting. When I finished the house, another project that's got to happen before I finish the house is I'm going to build either a schoolie or some kind of van. I want to I want to custom build my own RV, my own living space, because as soon as I sell this house, I'm going to start to travel. There are so many places I want to go. I've got friends I need to go out and visit on the road, and I really just want to get the hell out of town. And I am so looking forward to that. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take my time. I'm going to finish this house. I've got about maybe another year of work to do. And it's a ton of work. But in the meantime, I'm going to be creating great content for you guys. And I'm going to do my very best to get all this stuff finished within the next year. That's the car build. That's all the other how-to videos. That's the RV build, the schoolie, the van, the whatever it winds up being. And also, uh, once I finish the van, the schoolie, whatever it winds up being, I'm going to take this show on the road. From myself, from Pete the dog and Violet the cat and whoever else winds up participating in these videos down the road, I want to say thank you for being here and I'm looking forward to it.